locked out of their rental. A family is turning to contact Denver 7 for help. As Denver 7 CB Cotton explains, they believe they've fallen victim to a scam. Yeah. When this couple got the paperwork, they thought they'd leased a new home and a new chance at life. We were hoping to get this lease, which helped us save, and that's why we got the lease, because the lease was helping us save tons of money in the process. But as it turns out, this lease would only drain the couple's bank account. It was $4,850 to be exact. Taryn Anderson and Isaiah Blacknell say they found the home on Decane Circle in Aurora last week. It was listed on Facebook Marketplace with a monthly rent at $1,200. So they contacted the landlord. The price and the pictures kind of got me, sold me on the house. He said that they were running a special if we put three months of rent up front to get two months free. Yes. We thought that was a smart decision to save us money. The couple says once everything was approved, they moved in. Their homecoming was short lived. The day after the couple moved into the home, they discovered the code on the lockbox had been changed. Very, very hurt, very hurt when, when, when we came back and all of our stuff was kind of in there and then we still couldn't even get in. The couple called police and says they were told they could try to get inside to get their belongings. So they went in through an open window. It was left unlocked. We just pulled the screen off after and jumped up there. Right. According to Arapahoe County property records, the home was owned by First Key Homes, an investment company that manages single family rentals across the country. On their site, the home was up for rent at nearly 2,600 a month. This couple says after seeing the real listing, they now know their would-be landlord was running a scam. It was too good to be true. We can't find out where our money is and where it's going. For now, they're staying in an extended stay hotel. We tried to get in contact with the would-be landlord who told us by text the home was ready and available for a move-in. That's when we called. And he hung up after we started asking questions. Realtors tell Denver 7 this couple's nightmare is why tenants should always check public records and be cautious before sending money. Never wire your money to someone you don't know. Never send your money out unless you're meeting the person and meeting that landlord in person. Anderson and Blacknell are now working with police to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. It's 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 all very, very, very fishy. In Aurora, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7. CB, thank you. When we reached out to the First Key Homes, the investment company that apparently owns the property, but have not heard back. If there's a story you'd like our contact Denver team to look, team to look into, it would be our pleasure to do so. You can reach us by calling this number or you can send us an email to contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.